Welcome to Pimp Your Brain. Here with me is Fritz Kragler, and he will explain to us what is RNA interference. Fritz, what is RNA interference? Uh, RNA interference is a mechanism used by the cell to downregulate genes. Uh, I can show this on a scheme. So in the cell, there are the genes encoded in and DNA bees. So uh, this is then translated into an RNA molecule and this RNA molecule can be then further translated into a protein. And this protein has then a certain function in the cell, like an enzyme. So that is a normal way how the gene is uh, out of the gene there's a molecule produced, the protein, uh, via this RNA molecule. And what is then RNA interference? And RNA interference is when the cell produces small RNA molecules which are binding to the translated uh, uh, RNA molecule. And when uh, this binding happens, uh, the whole complex is degraded and then we have less gene product. So that means we have less or very limited amounts of enzymes. Why do we have uh, still uh, amounts of enzyme? Uh, if it is destroyed, there will be no protein anymore, right? Uh, it, it's not like this, but it's totally downregulated. Uh, some RNA molecules escape and there's a limited amount, a very limited amount, still produced in the cell. Okay, and why do plants have this mechanism, RNA interference? Uh? A simple example is uh, that uh, some cells can be infected by a virus. I'm drawing here now a virus particle. And this virus particle can contain RNA molecules. Or the virus itself produces RNA mo molecules. And these RNA molecules are recognized as foreign, uh, foreign uh, molecules, which are not normally existing in the plant cell. And uh, this triggers the production of small RNA. And this small RNA again uh, interacts with this viral RNA and the whole complex is degraded. So in, this, uh, in a plant, this mechanism is then used uh, to gain resistance against the virus. So I'm trying here now a schematic plant and uh, a virus, for example, is infecting this leaf here. Uh, this leaf then tissue produces this small RNA molecules which can be allocated over to another leaf and this leaf is now resistant against new infection of the same virus. Okay, so the plant uses this mechanism to, uh, to be protected uh, against viruses. But you, in science, you use this, um, you use this RNA interference uh, also for your research when you want to know something about enzymes, right? Oh, yes, uh, this mechanism uh, is employed in science, uh, for example, to uh, analyze the color of a leaf. Uh, so we are interested uh, why a, a leaf has, for example, a red color. Uh, and we can downregulate genes which we think might, might play a role in this pathway. And so we can introduce the small RNA molecules and when we produce them and we see suddenly that the flower is not red but white then we know that the leaf, uh, sorry, the gene is actually involved in the pathway producing this red color. Because now it's missing, you, so the color can't be produced anymore. Exactly. So thank you Fritz for this explanation of RNA interference and thank you for watching.